Hey, howdy, Tama fam. This is Eric from the Tamagotchi Collectors Facebook group and Discord, as well as Tamatown.com. And today I wanted to go over the non bakun Virtual Pet. This is considered a rare virtual pet. It's notable for being shaped like a sake bottle. And the gameplay is focused on serving various alcoholic beverages to the little character on the device and curing them of hangovers with water, coffee, or medicine as needed. And we'll go ahead and first look at the instructions. Pretty standard, goes over the characters available, the games, the options, which we'll cover those here in just a second. But the interesting part about the instructions is that on page one, there's a paragraph dedicated to stating that children playing the device should only do so with parental guidance and that the device has no basis in medical science. Looking at the back, you can see the company attributed to this device is TEN. It was made in 1997. I'm actually unfamiliar with what TEN stands for or whether they made other virtual pets, but we'll go ahead and get started and I'll switch the camera angles for a better view. When the device starts, you'll be asked if you want to use the male character or not. If you hit yes, you'll obviously use the male character. If you hit no, you'll use the female character. We're gonna hit no for this video. Next, it wants the time. We're gonna set 9 a.m. And now we see our character sleeping. She'll be sleeping for about 10 seconds before she wakes up confused. And then the game will ask us a second round of setup questions. So we'll give it some time to do that. And there she's woken up. All right, first question. This is asking if our character's parents had a strong, normal, or weak alcoholic tolerance level, with the far left option being a strong alcoholic tolerance, middle is normal, X is weak. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna say both parents had a weak tolerance. Next, it wants the character's body weight. Let me just put my own here. And first thing you're gonna notice is that it beeps every second. So you'll want to turn that off right away, unless you're crazy. To do that, you're going to go to the bottom set of menu items. Go to the third icon here, which is the informational menu. Scroll past the intoxication meter, the happiness meter, the hunger meter, and whether or not you want to take a nap to find whether you want the sound on or off. We'll set it off, B to confirm, then we'll exit out. So now with the sound off, we're gonna go through the menu items one at a time, starting at the top left and working our way down. The first item is your normal alcohol. So this is how you get your character drunk. The options you have to choose from are sake, beer, and shochu. Go ahead and give her some shochu and some sake. And we'll go to the next item. The next item is liquor. The options we have here are a single shot of whiskey, a double shot of whiskey, a cocktail, and wine. We'll give her some wine. Give her a double shot of whiskey. And now we'll move on to the next. This is gonna be your snacks. So the options we have are fish, meats, vegetables, and dried food, which is a picture of a squid, I believe. We'll give her some fish. Some dry food. And some meats. And we'll move on. Now this option is your medicines. And you only have three items under here. The first one is a glass of water, a cup of coffee, and actual medicine. I should note though that the actual medicine is only effective once a day. I know this because it's listed as such in the instruction manual, but you wouldn't know it just playing the game um, because if your character is suffering from a hangover and you choose the medicine, it will look like it goes through, but it's not actually effective. It's only effective once a day. 
Next, we have the games. First one being rock, paper, scissors. It's pretty straightforward. My hand is on the left. I'm always, I'm always a rock, and we're choosing for her. So she got scissors. She's mad because rock beats scissors. Scissors again. She's going to be pissed. She's shaking a beer bottle at me, I think. And scissors again. Okay. So she lost all of them. I won, which is not good because that makes her mad. The next game is drawing straws. This is also just a luck-based game. You're going to have three items to choose from. That was good. First one. We missed, and we'll choose the middle. We got it. So she won two out of three on that one. That's gonna increase her happiness. And so now we'll come back to the informational menu that we visited earlier. And now you can see that the intoxication level has, has risen a little bit. That's because I've given her some alcohol. Happiness is still low. And she's got a little bit of food in her stomach. Now I spent some time off camera raising her intoxication level, happiness, and hunger. I'll go ahead and show you what she is currently at. We've got about 50% intoxication, mostly happy, and a full stomach. So you can see by the question mark around her head that she is drunk. This seems to happen around 50% intoxication. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens when she reaches 75% by giving her a double shot of whiskey. This may take a few, few drinks here. Some sake. Some wine. And now she is throwing up. And we'll check her intoxication level. And it's around 75%. So this is what happens when she is like this and throwing up. You can't actually give her any more alcohol. Any attempt to try, she'll have the red or the little X by her head. And I think she's either shaking a beer bottle or a fist at you. And you can't, you can't give her any more alcohol. The only option you have is to try and reduce the intoxication level. So you can go to the medicine icon. You can choose water, coffee, or medicine. We'll give her some water. And some more water. Water is the weakest, ineffective form, so it may take a few. There we go. And so now she's no longer throwing up. And if you go to into the intoxication level, it has re is been reduced to 50%. And that's pretty much how you play this pet. I'm unclear what the goal is. I believe the goal is to figure a way to get her to 100% intoxication. But I have not been able to figure that out. Um, because like I said, once she reaches 75%, she begins throwing up and you don't really have any options to stop her from throwing up so that you can give her more alcohol without doing something to reduce her intoxication level. So yeah, hopefully this video provided some insight on how to operate this very unique virtual pet. Again, if anyone knows how to beat the virtual pet or obtain the goal, um, please let me know. I'd be interested. So I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.